What's good, YouTube? Ziploc Damo. You tuned in the Damo Styles. In the day video, I just want to talk to y'all a little bit about uh, hair as far as length, health, and you know, not not really letting it determine you and who you are. You know, me personally, I do have long hair. However. I didn't always have long hair. It's been phases where I prefer short hair. So I got a curly bush or high top fade or a taper, low cut waves, all that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like each period of life that I went through with those different hairstyles, I appreciated the fact that I didn't let my hair determine who I was, you know what I'm saying? Because I understand that everybody has a different path in life and everybody has a different hair type, different hair texture, different hair in general. You know, it's some people out there who may not necessarily be able to grow their hair to a certain length. It's some people who can't grow their hair at all. But at the end of the day, you can't let that define you. You know, if you one of those people who wants extremely long hair, but you can't really get the way you trying to go, just understand that what's for you is going to be there when the time come, you know? So you got to, number one, stay patient. Number two, stay consistent. Number three, stay disciplined. And number four, stay appreciative appreciate the journey that you go on appreciate all the trials and tribulations that it take to get to where you going you know and i know i'm saying you know a lot but that just mean i'm giving y'all a law you hear me but um i actually posted a short not too long ago where i was talking about how a young woman she grew her hair out and one day you know she just kind of got tired of it wanted to break free and she cut it and was pretty much talking about how she doesn't let her head define her and society uh they got standards of beauty where your hair is a factor in that standard of beauty and i want people to really understand that society standards is not your standards how society deems beauty and what they deem as uh morally aligned and all these different things man whatever you know live your life how you live your life wear your hair how you wear your hair if that means you want to cut one side and leave one side fully grown do it if that means you want to dye your hair purple blue green do it you know what i'm saying we only got one life and we living for ourselves. We're not living to please nobody else but ourselves. That's what I want to really preach to y'all. We not living to impress nobody. We not living to make nobody happy but ourselves. So please break that mindset where you feel like you got to please everybody else by conforming your life to what they want. No, it's bad enough that we do that. In the nine to five sense, you know, when we go to these different jobs, we got to conform who we are and give robot at these jobs. That's where the buck stops. You know what I'm saying? And I'm so glad for this generation because we got so much technology and so many opportunities. You could real make a whole living off of a talent, off a hobby, off of just picking up a phone, talking, you know. It's, it's a million ways to make money these days. So the whole nine to five thing, that's slowly simmering down. You know, I feel like eventually these jobs are going to understand that they need us more than we need them. And once those tables turn, they going to, it ain't nothing that a person can't do at their job, essentially. You know, it's still going to be rules because you still gotta abide by certain things but it's gonna be less strict 
less conformative, you know, they're going to be more open to uh, allowing people to have their identities. They're going to allow green hair in business offices, tattoos, all these different things. They slowly getting implemented, but I feel like in a few years, they're going to come around to it. But yeah, like I'm like I'm telling y'all, do what you feel is best for you when it comes to your hair. And don't never be ashamed of your hair. I don't care if your hair is one centimeter long or a hundred feet long. Don't ever get discouraged by where it's set. Don't never get discouraged when it comes to your journey. Your journey is your journey, not nobody else's. You know? It ain't nobody else's journey but yours. Everybody is going to be there for two things. During the journey, they're going to be there to make fun of you if you haven't reached that goal yet. And two, when you do reach that goal, they're going to be on your bandwagon like they was there from day one. That's how it go. So I say all that to say, man. Keep living your life the best way you know how to. Keep growing your hair the best way you know how to. Keep rocking hairstyles that you like. Cut your hair if you want to. Grow your hair if you want to. Curl your hair if you want to. Straighten your hair if you want to. All that, man. Live your life. That's it, man. Until the next video, Ziploc Dharma, I'm gone.